Hi, welcome to my channel, Sister What a Purpose, where I give you uplifting motivational messages and I let you know what's going on. So in the background, I will be playing 417 Hertz Energy Cleanse Yourself in Your Home. Heal old negative energies in your house. Okay, so that's the music that you will hear in the background. I will always try to play some form of healing music, something that clears out energies, okay, because you know that when you um, call on energy, you can uh, bring in all kinds of negative energy. Ace of Swords, Hierophant, Spiritual Wisdom. I like to call on the Divine, the Most High, who I deem as the Most High, who I deem as the Divine, um, as well as my higher self, my um, Divine relatives who are my spiritual guides and give me help and want to see me succeed. So earlier this week, I gave out an affirmation for the week, like for the days. So for two days out of this week, I did not go to work. One of those days I did not go to work was Wednesday. I go back to work today, which is Thursday. I found out that a man who has been stalking me, this guy, I don't know this guy. I've already blocked this guy. I originally was going to talk to this guy, but then he tried to be pushy and force himself on me. And I told him, no, back away. I don't want to speak to you. I don't want to talk to you. Leave me alone. Today was the third time this guy came up to me after I had stood my ground and told him I did not want to be dealt with. I don't want to interact with him. I don't want his energy. I let him know that I am on a spiritual journey. I let him know that I have a high priestess energy, so I know what you're trying to do. So, in the affirmation video, I talked about how there may be something that may happen Wednesday. And I essentially <laughs> avoided what was trying to happen to me Wednesday by staying home. So, I found out that this man came to my job and bought a coffee for me. The man, I'm telling you, it's two, two, two that I look up. The man that I already blocked, I already told him I don't want to speak to him. He came and bought me a coffee. He gave it to one of, uh, she's not an associate because my company doesn't work. Well, our company works for the company. However, I don't work with her. So she's not an associate of mine. So I just know her in passing. However, I have seen him and her talk on multiple occasions and i'm starting to feel like maybe she sent him my way i'm not for sure if they're in cahoots on it together however i do believe they were trying to poison me or they were trying to enchant me with some form of love spells through this coffee this man brought to the job so my manager i didn't even know like i i seen him like i said i seen him again today and i didn't even know that he had tried or he attempted to give me a beverage yesterday but I was gone like I was not there so he couldn't even give me the beverage and I had already blocked his number so he took it upon himself to text me this entire fucking book guys yes he texted me so much and was saying before you delete this number please read this do you think I read it I read the first few lines and then I sent that shit to someone else to be a witness. Because at this point, it's like, you're fucking stalking me. Why the fuck are you stalking me? You don't know me. You're not attracted to my energy. Because there's no way you're attracted to my energy that much where you got to keep coming looking for me. You don't fucking know me. I don't fucking know you. Like, what is wrong with you? You know, and I just like, I'm so disappointed in myself that I even... Like, took the time to have a conversation with him. Or took the time to even give him a hug, you know? and I, Or even took the time to meet up with him in the parking lot. Like, you know, ladies, we really have to be careful. Because niggas is really crazy out here. Especially if you meet in new niggas, you really have to be careful. And it's like, you're not attracted to my energy. You're attracted to the divinity in me. Which we all have divinity. If you are really a man of God like you say you are, go be a fucking man of God. What are you talking about? That's crazy. It's just crazy. It's crazy that the, the amount of things people would do to try to attach themselves to you. Like, do you really think I was finna drink that fucking drink? Girl, please. And then, the, and then the woman that was looking for me to give me the drink. Like, bitch, are you crazy? 
I heard things about you already and you think that I'm going to take a drink. Y'all really think that I'm going to take the drink for you and actually drink it. You could have spit in that fucking cup for all I know. You know, people are just, people are just wicked. So you just got to protect yourself. Be prayed up. Know your surroundings. If you own a weapon, keep it with you. Because you just never know what the fuck people got going on. Whew, sorry, Divine Feminine. Thank you, Divine Relatives, most high, higher self. I just needed to get that out because that shit is just crazy that that happened to me, right? Wow. I mean, people are just really, like, desperate. Anyways, we're going to figure out what's going on with you. I didn't even ask any questions. I'm just pulling cards and allowing them to be placed upon where they go. So far, we have uh, the Wheel of Fortune. Damn, poor baby. This the same nigga from yesterday, y'all. Nine of Swords energy. The King of Wands. Ooh, it's a couple, though. Didn't I tell you every time you show up at something, he gonna try to show up as such? You the Queen of Wands. He wanna be the King of Wands. You're this person's past love. This person is in a depressive energy once again. I hate to keep coming on here telling y'all the same shit, but it's the same shit different day, baby. Mm-hmm. Six of Cups came out again. I felt like I should have swapped the cards. To be honest with you, as soon as I picked them up, I felt like the Six of Cups should have been here and the world should have been here on Isis. And on the top of the deck, we have the Ten of Wands. Let me go ahead and turn this music back on. I just wanted to share that experience with you all, give you all a little PSA, because that shit was just ridiculous i have not experienced anything like that in a long fucking time so i'm just like at this point flabbergasted that that stuff would even still happen that it's just crazy to me it's just crazy because that man do not know me i spoke to this man one day the second day i caught on like okay something is wrong and i told him to leave me alone on the second day and blocked the fucking number the third day he came up to my job and then the weekend transpired, so I didn't hear from him. And then on fucking Monday, he came up to my job. And I told him on Monday, go somewhere, peace be still, take care. Was off and out of, um, out, you know, I work on Tuesday and Wednesday. It's fucking Thursday. That man was up at my job. So that means every fucking day, and my coworkers told me they seen him in there for hours at a time yesterday. And I'm like, whoa, that's, that's, yo, that's next level shit. Get on about your life, right? Right. The fuck is wrong with you? Okay, anyways, off the bat, I see an overwhelming number of sixes. We got six of cups in one deck, and then we have six of cups in here, this deck. And then we do have a six, six on the queen of pentacles. So, um, anyways, let's go back. Let's jump back into it, guys. I'm so sorry. I'm just so rattled up because I just really could not believe that this was happening. Right? Right. All right. So, we have the Wheel of Fortune. Um, the death card signifies either an actual ending or rebirth into your karma, into what is um, due to be yours. And I, I feel like a change in your fortune has taken place. I feel like this is a rebirth. You have been rebirthed with the change in destiny, with the change in finances, okay? You're the queen of pentacles, right? Queen of pentacles is a working woman. I feel like this person from the past, this king of wands, is so fucking depressed because he really thought you weren't going to do it without him. And he probably was talking shit like, oh, you ain't going to be nothing. You ain't going to be able to do nothing, blase, blase. Then you ended up being the queen of wands on his ass. Then you ended up coming into your ten of cups. You may not have the Ten of Cups right now, but you for damn sure stiff on the Six of Cups. You're not going towards the Six of Cups. You have a wake-up call that you're the fucking High Priestess. You have High Priestess energy in you. Look at him, look at how you looking at yourself. Your higher self, you and your higher self looking at each other. Y'all consulting each other like, girl, tell me about it. Yeah, girl, you know, I know. Da, 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 da. And your higher self over here in consultation with Isis, my aunt. Another word for a heart, Isis, is my aunt to me. My aunt talks about the uh, weighing a heart and judging it to see if it's lighter than a feather. All right, the laws of my aunt. That's what I, I'm not going to say I go about, I go by them often, but I do 
um, subscribe to that belief, okay? And I do believe that she is a feminine energy of God at the end of the day. Um, that's just something that I believe in. You can have whatever belief you want to believe in. I'm not here to debate. Hell, you can't debate because the comments are off. But at the end of the day, if you wanted to um, email me and have a discussion with me about it, no problem. I don't mind at all. And please do your research before you step to me about that because, like I said, we all believe in different things, okay? Cool. Now, the world talks about uh, endings of cycles, right? But I feel like this this world is uh, this world card is signifying that this woman who is ending these cycles are entering opportunities for her. Right? She has opportunities coming towards her full circle. She's mastering all the lessons that needs to be mastered in order for her to move on to the next level in the fucking game. Right? And there's nothing else I got to say about this King of Wands that he's other than then he's burdened he's burdened by not choosing you he's burdened for fucking up the connection with you he's burdened that you're successful and tending to your investments it's all a fucking burden for him you know why because it makes him look like the ass that he truly is it makes him look like the narcissistic idiot that he truly is and i don't want to name call but it is what it is and at this point he can no longer be the fucking ddd he's not the distorted divine masculine I, we have to like debunk him down to karmic masculine he's no longer the ddd okay the ddd no longer exists at this point because this damn king of wands the sagittarius leo aries keeps coming out in an, in an energetic state of depression the spirit of depression you don't have time for the spirit of depression because you're the queen of wands you have too much social success you're the fucking queen of pinnacles you have too much coming to you financially for you to be in a depressive energy or even lay with a man who has a dick tied to him that is depressing we don't want no depressing energy being pumped into us that's not how we rolling out here right hey we got Major Archaea coming out here, blessing us with divine gifts, divine um, offers. We got Isis, our spiritual guides, our spiritual team coming in, giving us the knowledge, gifting us with the ability to see with our third eye, hear with our ears. Are you kidding me? So we do have the six of uh, swords and the three of swords with equal to nine of swords. This person is emotionally hurt that you've walked away. You, you. Did a six of swords on their ass. And now they can feel it. They no longer feel your energy. Maybe before you all used to go back and forth with each other. And you cut all that shit out, girl. You did it, that shit. You don't go back and forth with the uh, six of cups anymore. You don't give a fuck what type of flowers he trying to give to you. None of that. You've grown up since you released the six of cups. You became the queen of wands. Yes, you may be in that four of cups energy, but baby it's for a damn good reason because you want to attract your ten of cups not your six of cups you have every right to be in that energy continue to be in your high priestess queen of wands queen of uh pentacles energy because at the end of the day that is what is going to keep you afloat and out of your emotions we all know that you can embody the queen of cups but she not out here for a reason we don't need queen of cups right now we need the motherfucking queen of wands so that you can keep studying and being uh, busy in all your business ventures. We need the Queen of Pentacles so you can continue to manifest that material uh, funds on your own. So you don't feel like you need another soul or another body to accompany you. We don't need that Queen of Swords because that's still giving his ass energy. You cut that shit out. You ain't even giving that nigga the lip because he no longer needs it. He know, He's a non-fucking factor. He's a karmic masculine now. So what the fuck are we arguing with a karmic masculine for? Maybe if that nigga was in DDD energy, you know, he'll get a little lip here and there. But he ain't even in that energy. He in a motherfucking queen. <laughs> queen. He probably be in feminine energy right now because he's so depressed. But he in a motherfucking nine of swords. You're not about to argue with no nine of swords and for them to drain, steal your energy, and then now you in the nine of swords with they ass. Where they do that at? This person is burdened by your new opportunities. All your future, all of the things that you spoke to this person about that you wanted, they are now here. This person is so fucking burdened. 
He like, damn, man, I wish I could go pick up that one stick with her. But now I gotta carry all 10 of these. Life's not fair. Baby, life was fair when your ass was arrogant and was, you know, didn't care that you was screwing people at the job and thought you was the man. That shit right there is crazy. <laughs> Excuse me. Ten of Swords. He's been backstabbed and betrayed. After you've put an ending to him, someone betrayed him. We talked about this in the other video. Yeah, this little bitch right here. Remember, she it was a social success. It was a success for whoever he went running to. That bitch played him to the left, and it was a success for her ass. Like, I don't know if she's getting ready to get money out of him. Or she like publicly embarrassed him. Or you know what? See, look at this. I look. I never have to make nothing up, boo. Never have to make nothing up. This bitch could be pregnant with this man's child. But this man is the devil. He got devil energy. Like I said the other day, this that same fucking fire, earth, sign energy. He could be a toxic fire sign or he could be a Capricorn fire. He could have earth. I said Capricorn. Could be a Capricorn. I was going to say he could be Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. He could have earth fire in his chart heavy this person wants to come in and communicate swiftly to you they are trying to get these 10 wands out they ass they was like man if i can get get rid of two of these ones you know man you know maybe that eight can bring me abundance maybe so bitch but it ain't gonna be our abundance let it be that bitch you had the third party with this bitch is pregnant and she is she looking at this like hmm how i'm gonna skin next how i'm gonna what i'm, what I'm gonna do how i'm gonna put them on child support she probably getting ready to put his ass on child support. And what's so crazy is you could have had his child too and you didn't even put him on child support. Or you could have had his child that he ain't even doing for your child. But he finna have a child with some little bum bitch and ain't gonna have to cater to her. <laughs> That's cute. All right. Let's let's get our um low down bit. See what come out. Tell me what's going on. Show me what's going on divine relatives for this whole ordeal what's showing what's showing what's going on what is it that i need to know that my viewers need to know about this whole reading show me what's going on please we would like to know what they gotta say i failed us by choosing others yeah yeah you did he failed he failed y'all whole shit by sitting up here and choosing another basic bitch a bitch he thought had the bag he said over there talking all that shit about you Ooh, i ain't gonna read that yet look x for a reason he said up there talking about you just because he couldn't see the and you know what this side know he not a king of wands this nigga may be a knight of wands he's still trying to mask his energy because you're a queen of wands this nigga is supposed to be a visionary leader. Do you think he saw your vision? No. You told him your dreams, your aspirations. He laughed at your fucking vision. Because he was too in this energy. Toxic. Lustful. Looking at the next bitch. And now he want to realize. Now when you start to become socially successful. Now when you starting to be on your motherfucking end game about your money. Now he want to say, oh, I failed us by choosing others. Yeah, you did, bitch. And you were ex for a motherfucking reason. Let's see what else he got going on. Spiritual bath needed. I don't know if this person was trying to speak something over you, but baby, salt will block out all those magical attacks, magical insults. I'm going to fuck. If you got to go get some body wash with Epsom salt in it. If you can't sit in the tub, do what you got to do. Rub your body down in some Himalayan and some sea, some black sea salt. Rinse yourself off really good. Say your affirmations. After you're done with that, go to the kitchen. Get you a liter of water and tell yourself with each sip, I am cleansed whole of any negative energy trying to penetrate my soul. You heard? Okay, then. With each sip, I am cleansed whole whole of any negative energy trying to penetrate my soul all right fast from social media rest is needed 
Get your ass off social media so much. If you stalking or you lurking on this person, don't be lurking on this person. I know you want him to see you shining. I know you want them, whoever was against you, to see that you got the bag and you doing your shit. But guess what? You don't need them looking at nothing you do. Because evil eye, they can go choke on the next. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Let them go worry about and stalk another person. Because you don't need that type of energy anyway. Blessing in disguise. It was a blessing in disguise that they were disloyal. It really was because it freed up your time. They were disloyal. They were disloyal to you. They failed you by choosing others. They were an ex for a motherfucking reason. Take your spiritual bath and cleanse your energy from social media. If your work has to do with social media, I understand. But please don't go lurking on this person's page. It could be a Taurus, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. Your ex. Or you could be. But we know you ain't this motherfucking king of wands. When you could be a Gemini. Oh, thank you, Divine. Show me what's going on. That's a lie. Ooh, yeah, you could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra. Yeah, Gemini. Gemini, I seen Gemini, then Libra pop right up on here on the judgment. <coughs> on the wake up high priestess. Sure did. Thank you, Divine Relative. Show me what's going on in this situation. And my tail tail did. Show me what needs to be seen and heard. Damn, that's a lot. They better stop. They better stop. That's a lot. Co-workers don't like you. We keep getting this. We keep getting this. Co-workers don't like you. Connect to your heart chakra. They don't like you because you the motherfucking 777. Luck on your side. Divine miracles. Social media stalking. That's why you need to stop. Um, you need to fast from social media because this person is social media stalking you. You got good luck. Connect to your heart chakra. Cleanse your energy. Of anything that may be pent up in the heart space. Because when your heart is open, that's when creativity is able to flow easily throughout the body. But if your heart is closed and you're bitter, you're not going to receive everything that you need in order to continue to succeed in the way in which you're already doing. The co-workers don't like you. That shit speaking to me because I felt like that bitch... That was talking to that guy that was trying to get me to drink that drink, even though I wasn't there. That bitch got something to do with it. She don't fucking like me. I don't care, bitch. Go suck a big dick. What you been doing anyway? Angels are near you, guiding you, keeping you safe. Ask for a sign. That's right. I'm going to be protected from this fuck energy, and so will you. Fuck them co-workers who don't like you if you working in the space with other women, other men who hate an old motherfucking well. Connect to your third eye chakra. Connect to your heart chakra. This person, this um, king of wands with the devil energy, these are the two things that he's trying to block and stop. He definitely don't want this open unless you're manifesting for him. He definitely don't want this open unless you're going to let him back in so he can manifest. This is a fucking narcissist. This is all he worried about. The only thing he worried about is the fact that you have this. Do you know how powerful this is? Look. Look at what's on the back of it. This talks about creating your reality in divine's presence. You have the ability to create your reality and you have the presence of the divine's help. He don't have that shit. He don't have that. Because he already done sold his soul. A Sagittarius. It's the fucking Sagittarius. Look what this saying. Their karma isn't yours to bear. And he wanted to be yours to bear. That's why he's trying to penetrate your heart and your third eye. This person wants your fucking destiny. They want your life. Failed spell work. <gasps> Regretting spell work attempts. Like I already stated, you could be a Libra. You could be an air sign. This person regrets doing all of this fuck shit because at the end of the day, it ain't getting nowhere for them. It's just like, what I'm trying to tell you, this is this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. We're going to cleanse the energy of this fucking um, Sagittarius. I want to go ahead, in the next video, we're going to go ahead and do a financial um, video. A video talking about your finances.
because I'm telling you, this king of wands, I feel, at this point, I don't want to talk. If he ever comes back out again, we're not going to talk about him. Mm -mm. Because I feel that he gets energy off of you even listening to readings talking about him. Because that's how his energy is able to stay up. He has some form, even though his work... Then I tell you, what I tell you, this is his energy. He don't want the other cups of the bitches that he was in third parties with. He don't want them. He looking at them hoes like he disgusted. I'm hearing All I Want Is You by Miguel. And then what's so crazy? I can't make this shit up. We got to stop talking about him because, yeah, I feel like, you know, even if he can't manifest without you, he still is he having some form of your energy still attached to him because you're watching readings that talk about him and how he's sad and then you start thinking about him and you know you thinking about anyone gives them the power especially their low vibration gives them the power that they need in order to you know plant a seed in your mind you start thinking you know what you could be doing good for three days don't think about this person don't dream about this person nothing then bam you watch your reading and then next thing you know for the next two nights you having dreams about this person because you don't start thinking about them throughout that day because you don't have that reading done or you don't listen to that reading so yeah baby we gotta move on from him we ain't got time for no karmic masculines okay we do not have time for them all right, let's go ahead and get some advice and let's move on out. Yeah, that's so crazy. That is so crazy, though, because I'm just like, bitch, you're not going to be stalking me because I ain't got nothing for your ass but a motherfucking gun. That's all I got for you. Or some pepper spray one. But my daddy finna put on stop all that shit. Like, you got me fucked up. You really think that you, what you think I ain't got no family or something? You, really, you think you finna just stop me? Boy, you ain't finna motherfucking stop me. And, you know, I, I don't curse and stuff like that towards people. I try to be, like, respectful. But you're not respecting me. You're not respecting my boundaries. You're not respecting anything that I have spoken to you. So why the fuck am I respecting you at this point? You come to me again, I'm gonna curse your motherfucking ass out. Period. I would not allow others to drain me of my energy. Yes, don't let this person drain you of your energy because that's what they want to do. They want to come into your spiritual your spiritual space. They want to come into your dream state. They want to suck and pull. Bitch, you ain't sucking and pulling nothing. My career aspirations are thriving. Period. We're going to talk about it. Let's get into it. Okay, bye. Like, nigga, please. And we and then that's the same. I receive my karma and, and am grateful for lessons. Been there, done that. Been around the block twice. I'm grateful for everything nice. The most high, I already know how I feel. So, all right, guys. And until next time, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.